Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, it's snowing outside here in Connecticut. It is gorgeous. Uh, I don't have any hot chocolate, but I but I do have some coffee, so I'm gonna hang out and drink some coffee, which is uh, pretty cool. Because you gotta gotta have a hot beverage when it's snowing. Um, anyhow, I'm also this is not what the video is about, um, but I'm pretty excited because I got this in the mail the other day, all for one, Regime Diabolique, because I've been living out of the PDF, and I, I like a book, you know. I don't have a tablet, so it's a little harder to read the PDF on the laptop or the phone. Is you know, you know I'm wearing bifocals for crying out loud. But you know, I like to have both. But uh, the book's cool, and this is let me see if you can see this this artwork. You know, cool stuff. So I, I'll probably talk about that another time. Um, also, didn't have a copy of the Three Musketeers laying around, but but my mom actually had this old one from the uh, I think it's a Modern Library, and it's a printing of uh, from 1928, I think. Yeah, let's see. Look at that. Look at. Yeah, there we go. Look, look at that type. It looks like somebody actually did it with a typewriter. <laughs> look, looks, you know, the letters are all over the place, and it's it's entertaining. So I'm having fun reading that. Uh, anyhow, let's get on to the meat of this video. Um, let's see, Multiverso Destapico um, actually put out a video today or yesterday, and it was called "The Withdrawal from RPGs." And I think I found this by, um, I, you know, opened my YouTube feed or whatever and saw that uh, talking about games had done a response to it. So I went and watched it. Multiverse of Destapico one first. Watch Marco's first, and I went back and watched Abraham's response video. I can link them both because they're both good. Um, but, you know, uh, Marco's video struck a chord with me, you know, and so I wanted to talk about that a little bit, and um, just, you know, it made me it made me think a lot today. And, you know, I like watching his channel. He's very thoughtful, and, and the way, you know, I have to watch it. I can't listen to it because it's in Portuguese, so, you know, I'll drive off the road trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and so he puts his own English subtitles down on the bottom of the screen. So, you know, it just seems to me sometimes as I'm watching, it takes a little bit too long for him to say in Portuguese what I'm reading in English, because in my hubris, I think I know how long it takes to say that in Portuguese. Um, but it makes me stop and think, and, I, and I, I read it a few times, and so it sinks in a little bit more. And I always enjoy his content because he's, he's very thoughtful. He talks a lot about the psychological aspects of RPGs from time to time. And this video obviously was no different, if, if you can uh, get that from the title right off the bat. So he's talking about the fact that he had to take a little bit of time off. He had the life issues going on, which we can, you know, most of us can relate to because we have like real life. We're, we're grownups. Um, and just talking about how he felt a little bit uh, removed from the hobby and, and was experiencing the, you know, he was watching himself, observing himself, experience these symptoms of withdrawal. And so as it turns out, I, I know a little bit about withdrawal and abstinence. So, um, but in this case, in terms of, you know, RPGs, you know, I've, I've had experience with that, but I, I also, it, I resonated more like with what he was talking about. And, you know, he talked about the fact that, you know, uh, something like role-playing games are, are rewarding and the fact that, you know, they reward your creativity, they reward, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, um, what am I thinking of here? Accomplishing a goal, you know, uh, and there's also the social aspect of it. And, you know, to me, it's a social aspect that is probably the most reinforcing in terms of playing in a group. Like, you know, there's, you know, I think I even mentioned to him in a comment, there's all sorts of surrogates I can use, you know, to, to feed my RPG Jones, if I can, you know, be so, uh, use, use a vernacular or whatever, um, be so crass. You know, I, I, but no matter how much I like am involved in like creating an RPG like he's doing or, you know, writing about them or thinking about them or creating adventures or preparing for, for upcoming games or, uh, you know, I interacting on forums or, or theorizing, um, you know, or what have you, you know, they're all surrogates from that actual, you know, sitting down at the table with other people. And, you know, these days... Um, it's important, you know, like to me, like who I actually uh, associate with. I, I need to associate with people that, that feed my soul, you know, feed my spirit, you know, I'm not going to get too touchy feely on you. Um, but that's a big part of it. I mean, humans are social creatures and I, you know, I have experience with, you know, not being very social. And, you know, and there was a period of my life with, without going to great detail where, you know, I just, I lost those connections with humanity and, you know, I suffered for it. And, you know, it, over the past four and a half years or so that I've, you know, worked on gaining those back. And, you know, little by little kind of making my forays back into like other communities like the role playing game community. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's interesting. You know, I think I might have even mentioned to him or, or to Tim Harper. I kind of you know, shot him a link today uh, that, you know, there's 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 something I get socially from, you know, doing this, from making videos from uh, fortunately the RPG, YouTube RPG Brigade, just, you know, the RPG Brigade, you know, period you know, is very interactive and you can start to develop, you know, friendships, you know, such as they are with other people in the, uh, in the community. And so that is, uh, it's a, a, I guess, you know, close second 
there, there is something. It's it, it's not as good as, you know, uh, in person, face to face, just like Hangouts isn't quite as good as, you know, face to face gaming. But it is a connection. But, you know, to me, it is, uh, you know, actually sitting down at the table um, is something special. And, and uh, actually, actually, Marco said something that really resonated with me enough that I had to write it down. He talked about, uh, he's making a bunch of analogies. And he was talking about professional or college athletes, you know, being, you know, their career's over and they can still play in a pickup game at their, at their same level of performance or competence and, and use all the same skills. And that's fun and rewarding. However, the team relationships are sorely missed. And I could certainly relate with that because, you know, there's been times in my life where, you know, we moved on from a game or a campaign or, you know, this, the group split up, the band broke up, you know, for whatever reason, it was just time. And, you know, I got used to seeing those people. It, it was more, it was more of a relationship I, I, that developed over time. You know, we, you know, some of us clicked and it was, you know, we developed actual uh, uh, real uh, meaningful relationships, you know, to whatever depth that, that we wanted them to. But that was, that was, uh, you know, human beings need that. And sometimes, you know, I forget that. Uh, let's see what else. He said some, he, he made some uh, uh, analogies about music, which I, you know, I kind of smiled at. Um, but he did, he did say it. I'll agree. Like there's something about playing, you know, um, by yourself, you know, about picking my bass or whatever, and I can play and that can be very rewarding. It's more rewarding. There's something else that happens when I go and I play with a band. I'll go in the basement, you know, because that's where bands are supposed to practice, I think, is in the basement, you know. And that's the whole different level. That's very collaborative. Um, and you're interacting with those other people. It's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's hard to explain unless you've done it. But then there's a whole different plateau you reach when you go out and you play live in front of other people because then it's the big, you know, huge social dynamic. And so I could, you know, I, I, I related to what he said in terms of, uh, you know, there's, there's something else you get from that, uh, the experience, you know, when we're actually, you know, interacting with each other in the, in the games. And, you know, I uh, probably should have said this much earlier in the video, but, you know, I don't want to make any generalizations, you know, not that I would ever do that. But, you know, let's say that if you took uh, the percentage of people that are gamers that are maybe introverted or, or less socially comfortable, uh, and you compare that to the per percentage of just society that's introverted or less socially comfortable, let's maybe hypothesize that in gamers, those, you know, there might be a little bit higher. <laughs> you know, it's possible. You could be the coolest kid on the block, but a lot of us, like myself, you know, just weren't. And so this is one of these uh, arenas or, or forums where, you know, over time we, we kind of blossomed. And at, at least for me, I, I was uh, able to, you know, feel more comfortable. Um, let's see, what else did, uh, did I think of? Uh, he, he did say something I disagree with a little bit. Um, um, <clears throat> he said, it makes sense to feel that, um, feel this long and suffering for something that's just a source of fun. And, and to me, at some point it crosses over and it's no longer just a source of fun. You know, it's, it's become actual real meaningful social interaction. You know, is it the only meaningful social interaction I ever get? No, of course not. <laughs> and, you know, hopefully it's not the only meaningful social interaction you, know, you have either. But, you know, as you, uh, you know, in my experience, you know, associate and find other people with, with, uh, that are of a like mind, you have similar interests, you have, you have some things in common, and you start to form actual social bonds, that becomes important. And the fact that you're playing role-playing games, you know, you know, in this case, is important too. But those social bonds are, are something that are sorely missed when they're gone. And so I could really, uh, you know, I could identify with, with what he said in the video. I could, I could resonate with it for more than just, you know, um, withdrawing or, you know, feeling, feeling, uh, the uh, pangs of, uh, separation and withdrawal from the, uh, the hobby itself, the actual playing of the game, but also, you know, feeling the effects of abstinence from social interaction and participating with the human race. So that's my take on it. That's, that's touchy feely, Ivan. <laughs> Have a good one.